Gotta rock this place. Gotta rock this place. Gotta rock this place. Rock this place. Charles here and welcome to the show. Welcome, 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 and welcome again. <laughs> Listen, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm so excited to be here. Wondering if who's here, who's in the studio. We got a lot of people here. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I missed you. <laughs> I missed everybody. This has been crazy. I've been getting messages. Hey, I got this question, I got that question. What can we do to fix this? How can we do to fix that? I'm like, listen. Check us on the show on Saturday. We'll answer all your questions. But you know how we do it right off the bat. Tell us where you're calling in from. We got a lot of people in the chat. We got a lot of people on board. Where are you calling in from? Let us know. Let us know. Where's my friends at? Hey, Adam. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let me just calm down. Because there's a lot of new features, a lot of stuff happening in... And you know why I'm super excited? Because I got my main man in the studio. Let's bring him on. Let's make some noise, Leo. Hello, Charles. How are we doing? You know, I'm only just excited for being on the show. I'm excited to see you, Leo, because, you know, we only talk real quick on Facebook, but now we can actually pick each other's brain, show us what we're working with. You know, just before the show started, you showed me a little trick, and I'm like, oh, I didn't send you it that way. So we're going to tell everybody a little bit about it later, but for now, you got to stay tuned. There's a lot of people kind of joining us in from all around. Um, interesting plate people. Um, hopefully, you know, we can see from Albuquerque, we've got Ohio, uh, lots of other people. So, uh, and don't forget, if you want to join us, we, the big difference with this show to the other shows, this is where we can give you direct answers. Yes. And for us to give you direct answers, we want you to join us on the show you come into the green room the reason we have that is just so we can make sure we can hear you before we go live and then we bring you on and you ask your questions directly to us and we come back and give you feedback so if you want to do that that's the link below uh the link's also in the chat so you should be able to just click on that link where you're ever you're watching and come and join us all right now here's the thing leo and i were talking about it because the other day uh i had a mishap and I was trying to work it out. And I'm like, okay, how do I fix this? How do I fix this? And Leo came in and said, okay, Charles, try this, try that, try this. So I, I came up with this idea. I said, Leo, let's ask our guests live, make them come on. What happened on a show that they've had that they, they want us to help fix? Was there a situation you ever were live and you're like, oh, how could I do that? I'd really want to try this. I don't know how to do that. We will try to help you do that. Or is there a way you want us to help you streamline something? Is there something every time you're live and it's just a headache for you? You're getting frustrated because you're doing it long way and you know that this could be an easier way of doing things? Let us know as well. Come on in. Let us know what, what happened in one of your streams that you want us to help you fix. What's new that you want to learn how to use it properly? And what happened or something you want us to help streamline? So, And if you don't want to do it live and come on, just put it in the chat and we'll, we'll read them out um, and we'll Try and keep up. Uh, just so you know what's actually happening in the background. Charles and I are doing all the buttons and everything on this. There isn't anybody else in this one. It's just the two of us. So when you hear, see the wrong button press, that's me. And the right button press, that's Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here's and here's the other good th great thing about it is working together. And we're going to show you how when you have an admin, having somebody working together, this is how you make your show streamlined. And just before we started the show, Leo said something that I think was the most brilliant thing. It's not about how long you've been doing the show. It's the quality you put out. 
All right. So you could be doing your first, second, or week or, or veteran. If your quality of show that you're putting out is no good, it doesn't make a difference if you've been streaming for two, three years. The reason you're not getting followers or the reason people are not staying longer on your stream is their quality that you're putting out isn't that great. You know what I mean? StreamYard can do so much, but are you using all the tools? Are you splicing in the commercials? Are you using the voiceover? Are you adding tools? Like how I add, you know, sound effects when I bring my guest in. Are you adding all these things with your stream deck? You might have a stream deck that you're not even using properly that short codes, the short keys, instead of you clicking on the mouse all the time and people see you doing this, looking back and forth, trying to find something on your screen when you should be paying attention to your guests straightforward. I don't know about you, Leo. I've watched some streams and the guest is, the guest is talking to them and they're over there. Uh, yeah, of... <laughs> and and I'd say the key thing to that, and I know I do it all the time, is first of all, my camera is there and I have to look down. Uh, a lot of people have head up, you know, they put the camera in front of their, there's, there's ways of doing that. But also, uh, I, I'm a producer. That's my main role on this. I use StreamYard as a producer. So I'm here normally in the back end. You never see me on camera and I'm here to make other people look good. And if you want to look the best on there, it's like anything. You can't do the, it's like you almost streaming, streaming works like in a tandem bike. You have one person at the back doing the pedaling like mad and one person doing the steering. And that's the best way to get the show out. Uh, so have a look at it and have a look at what you see with us. And then do remember that, um, if you ever want that level of professionalism and, and StreamYard is the best tool to do it because when there's two people, it's twice as good. It looks twice as good than when there's just one. Yeah. And then a lot of people don't know that there's double features in there. So for example, yeah. you know, if you're, you're, you're demonstrating something and earlier I said to you, you know, if you had a, a stream deck or a sound effects machine, you know, I can say it or I can show it to you by just bringing in another camera. See, these features, a lot of people don't know that you could do this right now. So now I can, when I'm explaining something, I can actually say, well, here's where I bring my sound effects in. Here is my stream deck. You know, I can show you. There's, there's ways of bringing new features into your stream and make it more interesting instead of just showing one directional camera. <laughs> StreamYard is giving you multiple cameras. Oh, where did you go? You stopped. We've lost you. You've taken your sound one off. You're taking your sound one off. There you go. The other one. There we go. There we go. You're back on. There we go. And then I can show the best thing about this is I can show you that I'm drinking a cup of coffee as well. So that's a, a great reason to see the uh, second second camera. <laughs> now, here's a question for you, everybody. In the chat, did you know you could do this? Put it in the chat. Did you know you could bring second cameras in for different views? You know, so you could see where Leo's working with his space. You can see what gears I have, what, what I'm using to bring all these sound effects in and my sound levels. Did you know you could do that? Put it in the chat. Just put yes or no. And we're already having a couple of co comments and questions and I'm just going to jump on one. We, we do talk, we talked about this a lot in the last couple of shows. I'm not going to go too big on this, but Adam was talking about uh, good audio you need very good audio, at least good, video quality lots of people watch on mobile devices so audio is king i, I actually agree you got it the other way around i agree uh, the audio is the best if you're going to spend any time spend it on audio because your video isn't normally that bad it's the audio that everybody needs to hear uh, and that that's it um you asked my stream up my stream up mug is in the dishwasher it's my fault what a bad but i do have one <laughs> that's it we we were actually trying to work out what i was going to do with my puddles today because i've on my new lie out i haven't got a place to put my puddles but there you go the these are these are the current th you know first world problems hey so i'm looking at uh jt he didn't know that he, he didn't know that you could put in um second and, and third cameras in there so like there you go yeah. so there's little features like that that you can add to your stream to just take it to the next level you know what i mean just think about it if you're a person that makes sculptures think what you could do with this camera so as i'm speaking i could take this camera right here and point it down to the unboxing so for example you know i could be i can demonstrate my mug as i'm talking 
You know, there's there's different things you can do with your second and third camera to bring it to the next level. And that's what you want to do. All right. Attach puddles I think to the window. Attach puddles <laughs> to the window. Yeah, we 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 had that, that that thank you, creative lady. Yeah, we did I did try it. I did try it. Uh, I was thinking, but he'll he'll look a bit squished. I think I need to get a mobile thing so he just hangs down. There you go. What a what a problem to deal with. That's it. That that's what we've solved. Um, I think the the point that you're saying about that second third camera uh particularly charles and we were having this discussion before is you know the one thing this is where Streamyard literally can blow things away for you you can use this in as a tool to be able to demonstrate something that maybe you weren't able to do in the past um and and it's easy the one thing that you'll notice with charles on that second camera is there is no uh his name isn't on there and there's no audio coming from him from his second camera and that's quite important because one of the complexities you had when you put two cameras in is that you always had uh, an issue that uh, you were getting you know if you set two pcs up and that was the problem we were dem try trying to solve earlier when you've got two computers coming into a streaming thing and we you know, something like this or in Zoom, you have exactly the same problem. You suddenly have two audio sources and two audio sources is not good. So this is something that they've solved in here. So you can have that second camera without the second audio. So you can bring in just to do that. And if you're as if you're doing anything you're demonstrating and even demonstrating, looking back to your own screen so we can see in the top for me, it's in the top right corner of Charles's second picture. I can actually see his screen he can actually be showing me stuff and that's worth a million dollars there you go so yeah so a lot of people are coming in with the echo and that's absolutely right the echo that that sound effect that screeching echo you know Streamyard has figured out a way of doing it but working out with leo eh, i don't know should i show him should i show him go on try 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 all right here we go people now you got three of me <laughs> so now i can show you you know, the back end from that camera right there, how I do my three screens. You can see how I use my functions. And there is no, okay. there is no echo. So there is a lot of tricks you can use. And then the thing about what StreamYard, what I love, you can move everything around. So now Leo is the, the focal point. And then you just see me all on the sides. You know, we can switch everybody around. You know, there's so many things with, with, that we can switch. And if you want to say, hey, Charles, can I see the camera? I can switch with Leo. This is so what you're actually doing there so people can see the difference here is he's actually using two computers that are coming in. So that but this is the complex bit because two computers come in. You'll see that bottom one has got a little mic mute on it. So that's the mic mute on there. Otherwise, you will get the echoes. But it isn't just the... Do you want to explain what we had the problem with earlier, Charles? Yeah, so I thought if I just mute it, it would be okay. But like people are saying, like, like Leo was saying, don't forget, muting your mic is one thing. But the one thing I forgot, and this is what I love about StreamYard and how we teach each other, is the second speaker. The computer is still recognizing that speaker, and that's where the sound kept echoing coming from. I'm like, well, I did everything. I muted. I'm silent in another one. I brought another thing in, but the one thing I forgot to do is mute the second speaker. As soon as I muted the second speaker, no more echo. And so. muting second speaker sounds complex, and sometimes it can be, but the trick I've always used is push the second speaker to something else. So in other words, uh, a US a Bluetooth connection or a, a port on your machine that you never use or you know that you or just plug a, a pair of headphones in to a port that you and and make it think it's sending out or if you're on a pc or on a mac you can also bring the volume down on that second connection it all depends there's lots of ways you can do it so uh unfortunately you now have <laughs> a gallery of three charles's versus two leos there you go but it's, look um, this is this is the beauty of the system all right, we're showing you Absolutely. all these great things, what you can do, our back end. We're showing you how our mics look. You know, now you can see what microphone Leo is using, how he has it set up. You can see my rig, what I'm using, how I feel comfortable with mine. You know, there's so many views now that you're actually looking in to the back end, and you could be doing that 
with your products, with your showcases, just giving people different ideas. You can see my camera in the picture right there. It's just options. And that's yeah. what we want to do is give people options when you're live. Absolutely. So uh, we've got a couple of comments here. So the first was the creative lady says a uh, gallery of Charles's. So uh, there must be a word for it. There must be a word for it. <laughs> um, uh, Mike, uh, do we work for StreamYard? We don't both work. For, I don't work for StreamYard, I, but I've been using it for a huge amount of time and really like the product. So, you know, I'm a core user. I don't know what exactly you want to call it, but no, I'm, I am not, I'm not on the payroll, but I do like the product. So there you go. Um, there, you go. Uh, there was a nice one here. Adam just asked that would uh, quite, thank you, Adam, for that. Uh, folks make it easy for Leo and Charles to see your questions, put a queue in front um, or the question marks afterwards. The queue in front is great. I don't, Personally, not great fan of the question marks afterwards. I'll tell you why. Because we, when we want to put something on the screen, if it's got too many characters, it's going to take up too much space. So a queue in front is really good because I like to make sure that if somebody asks a question like Adam is, I like to get their name on the screen because that is also for anybody who does live shows. Um, recognizing your guests, recognizing the people who are watching, commenting, bringing their comments on and mentioning their names is a solid way to increase the number of people who watch your shows. So that's a that's a key thing. Uh, while we're on there, just before I forget, you know, we do want people, if you do want to come in and ask your questions live, uh, stream you the, the green room is there you know we'd love people to join us um if they've got questions particularly people who have never been on before we want people who've not been on before rather than keep you the same people uh you know we're here to help you out and to get your use of the product up um as i say you know we are here helping and representing Streamyard, but we're doing it to help out to other people we all started where you started at one point or another so please join us Charles. Right. So I was just reading some of the questions and yeah, if you have um, something that you've done, because earlier I asked everybody, you know, what problem did you have when you were streaming? You know, is there a way that we can help you streamline stuff? Is there a way we can show you how to bring in your commercials, bring in your sponsors? Are you looking for a way of adding sponsors to your show? There's many ways of doing it. Are you looking a way of transitioning? Is it the transitions that you're looking for? What are you looking for to help get to that next level? Because don't forget, when you get to that next level, a couple of things happen. More viewerships, more viewerships, more links, more likes, more follows. Then, you know, if, if this is something you're trying to do to monetize, then you're getting YouTube, you're getting Facebook. They're looking at all these things and maybe you start monetizing. Not only are you monetizing, you're getting sponsors. Okay, you're getting brand recognition. People are looking at your stream and going, you know something? They're doing great stuff. Let me jump on board. All right. So here's another question for you. When you're streaming, what are you streaming about? Put it in the comments. Is it for business? Is it for fun? Are you streaming for a hobby? Put in the comments why you are streaming. Why did you decide to jump on StreamYard? Why are you streaming? What is it big for you? Why are you streaming today? Why did you start? Was it because of COVID? Did you just decide, oh, I had to, so I had to find something? Or did you really wanted to stream before and COVID just pushed you into it, gave you that confidence to just start. But were you always thinking about streaming and is it a hobby or for business? Because a lot of people, Leo, when they start off, they're doing it for a hobby and then they realize they're getting all these followers and then it, then it becomes something more. You know what I mean? Yeah. What did you start Absolutely. streaming it for? Um, so I was doing streaming before. I um, have spent a long time in the WordPress industry. Uh, so I was doing a lot of stuff in that world. Um, and then I got involved in some other stuff. I was doing live streaming for people. Um, and it was sort of, it almost felt like the one-eyed man leading the blind, if that, if that saying sort of makes sense, uh, because I'd been doing it before. Um, and you feel there's a natural way of doing some of this stuff. And I think you've touched on some really good points earlier, Charles, about how uh, about the momentum and how you've got to keep this going and how you've got to act to keep your your um streaming working and there is some stuff i've seen some excellent stuff over the the last couple of years that are growing uh, i've also seen some stuff which i thought was going to grow and it just felt uh faded away um so um it's just how how things 
things are. We've got a couple of comments in here that um, uh, Adam has said, uh, business hobby reselling, I wanted to educate my viewers and myself and eventually make some money. Uh, yeah, I think that's the right way of looking at Adam. Uh, you've got some really good points here, Adam. Thank you for your, your involvement. Uh, Kevin Hall has said music interviews pre-COVID. Um, Good way of starting. It's it's funny how you can reach out. I've seen a lot of people reaching out with their music and getting new audience. Um, there's um, hold I'm on just before reading these. It, go before, on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, before you move on, I like that. I'm just going to use him for, as an example. You're a new yep. artist, okay? You're yeah. you're a new artist. It could be for painting, music, and you're like, well, how? I don't have a producer yet. I don't have a big company backing me yet. How can I get my music out there? How can I get my talent out there? How can I get my paintings, sculptures, anything? This is the best way to do it. You video yourself doing a sculpture. You video yourself singing one of your original songs, and you send it out there. And then you keep pushing it out and keep sending it out there. Somebody's going to pick it up. One of your songs might go viral. You know, think about it. Before they were streaming, how did Justin Bieber get recognized? You know what I mean? He played a song. Someone saw him. From my understanding, boom, it's all over. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's many people on here just doing simple stuff. Uh, the other day, I, I watched something. Uh, a mother videotaped their son dancing. And then, you know, it just it takes off from there. You can do so many things on streaming, live streaming, doing it, putting it out there that can really go viral. So it, it is hard. Um as you say, there, there isn't a magic formula. I think I think there was for a short period of time. There was always a window with any new technology. People get really fast at it and they grab. Um, and now there's, but what we will see probably, I think, in ten years' time, is streaming will still be here, um, and there will be good people at it, and there will be people coming in new, and there will be great and different ways of using it. Um, and that's the same with all media as media grows it changes its use so you've just got to see what fits and and, it, and if it works for you it works for you i think the key though and adam touched on it earlier we've touched on it charles you and i've touched on it many times is um if you don't look and sound good yeah. you can get away with a thing for a short period of time but if you're not focusing on that it does start eventually people start drifting away from you and I think that's one of the big things that people people are seeing. And that's why I think this technology of using StreamYard, if you use it, you can see what we're able to do with it. We're not spending a fortune. I haven't spent a fortune on my camera. It's, it's not cheap, but it's it's not a fortune. You can make and sound and look good. And that's, that's, that's key to it. Um, there's a couple of other things. We've got a couple of other comments in here. And as I said, it's just... Charles and I reading the comments, so we're trying to get through them as fast as we can. <laughs> uh, I, I, we should actually be using the um, uh, the uh, star the, feature, the, 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 the star feature, which I forget <laughs> to do, and then I remember. I remember, but I did see a couple of questions. I'm just going to go back to a question that I saw. Um, I'm now going to find it. Hold on, there was somebody asking how many people you can have on on there. Here it is. There you go. Uh, I have the basic plan. I can have up to 10 guests. Does that mean 10 guests plus me or nine guests plus me? It actually means 10 people in the back end. Yes. So it doesn't matter how you count that 10. Uh, but if you count it as if you've got to be in the back end, then you're one of the 10. So it, it's 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 nine plus you. Um, it could be that, you know, you, there are other ways you could think about it. You could have, uh, but somebody has to be the admin and has to be logged in. So it's 10 plus plus included that's all the back end uh takes um and that's how many you can have on the screen um it doesn't mean that you can if you put a screen share on you can you can have a screen sharing as well so you yeah. can have 10 plus the screen share but believe me when you get that many on there it's <laughs> it's hard to control there's, there's what you can have what you can have um, i i think they once technically got something like 25 people in a in a little mini car but it doesn't mean you can drive very far with it so right. yeah, just be aware <laughs> of that now i was i'm trying to show somebody this right here i'm going to see if i can do it there we go now a lot of people were talking about well i'm too shy to be on camera okay there you yeah. go i'm not on camera but you can still hear my voice and i can still make my points out you know what i mean i can still talk to leo 
I could still tell yep. everybody how to use StreamYard. What's the best way of doing it? There is so many ways of StreamYard for you to get your message out there. If you're not a person that is, you know, you're not a camera person, put an avatar in there. The key I, thing I just want to know. I just want to know, Charles, why do you look super great in your avatar and in real life? <laughs> <laughs> I got to I got to thank my parents for that, Leo. <laughs> it's not about me. <laughs> I got to thank my mom for that part. She she made it happen. That's it. That's it. There you go. But see, the anyway. thing is, a lot of people I have been talking to and I'm like, "Oh, have you started streaming yet? Have you done? no, I don't feel comfortable on camera." And when they're on camera, you can tell they're not comfortable yet. So they're not in the camera, they're shying away. You know what I mean? The thing is you got to be comfortable on camera. So start off slow. You know, put an avatar on. You know, the message is what's the most important thing. So if you could spit out your message and the more you get comfortable, then you slowly just move away that av avatar and go for it. So there's many ways that streaming is actually helping you to get to that. So next I level. think Michael is agreeing with me. I, I'm thinking, I'm not sure if he's agreeing to my main points or just, uh, <laughs> hey, he, he's, he's, a, he's another on the vote of uh, Charles, your mum. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, thanks, um, Michael. <laughs> I think this is a, this is, um, this is an interesting question. Um, and, uh, you know, how do I get more subs? Um, now there is another show about, uh, the YouTube side of this, uh, that's at a d different time. Um, it's hard yes, and it's particularly hard to just say I've built a channel and, uh, off I go. And why am I not getting, you know, it, I, I did see a great, uh, cartoon last week. Um, from my old, as I said, my WordPress days, it's like, uh, you know, it's like, and uh, the first uh, slide is, you know, and now you press this button and your website will be live. And it's like, press the button. It's like, and I'm on page one of Google immediately. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work that way. Um, well, if here, you I'll... have an audience yep. and you've got people who like your product, yep, you will gain following. And that's the only way if you're legitimate about what you're doing and you're legitimate about what you're saying and you're doing it, you're going to do it. If on the other hand, you're looking for a short shortcut, what you will end up with is a lot of trolls. Um, and I know this is an issue that a lot of people have, particularly that they get trolled and they get other stuff. And then before you know it, you've got not, not the people you want and your show's going in the direction you don't want it to go in. Right. So here, um, if you talk, Go on. Sorry. No, I, I, no, no there's, there's, there's some great points you put there, and I just want to add on to it before before they lose it. Leo made a great point, okay? There's so many things you can do. You know, people will tell you about, you know, your thumbnails. Uh, make sure you, you you add your link, you know, three days before the show. Make sure you have your, your, your description stuff in there. That's all gravy. But like Leo said, I'm going to refer it back to the website. If you don't promote your page, period – no one's going to come watch it. So you can put you can put the best thumbnails in the world. You can put the best descriptions in the world. But if you're not marketing it, if you're not putting out, you know, like he says, shortcuts, you know, little short videos, your brand is you. If you don't put out your brand, nobody's going to find you. That's the main thing. So you can find out how you, how you get subscribers, do all the tricks that all the top people tell you. But if you yourself is not calling friends and telling them, Hey, I'm live putting out um, things on your social, putting out a schedule, doing all the things to brand yourself. The greatest thumbnails ain't going to help you. No one's can see these thumbnails. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And there, there is a question here, which we're, we're slightly going off our remit, which is about uh, where we are with how to make StreamYard really good. This question about is a rerun. Okay. On your YouTube channel. Um, there's lots of things you can say about YouTube and how to market. And there's a there's a much better show on on the YouTube marketing side that's run on StreamYard uh, when we're not here. Um, but um, I would say the key point is that you've got to think about your audience and if your audience is picking up what you want. And certain shows work really, really well as reruns. Certain shows work really well as information on there, but others don't. Uh, and, and I don't think there's an answer to say, yes, you must be doing it. Um, lots of different things. And here, here's a, here's one of the questions I was looking at this, the reruns. It depends on, for me personally, how you schedule the reruns. 
is it a certain time? Like I do a rerun if I have a very special guest. That's number one. Like if it's a wow guest, I do a rerun. But I also do a rerun on a certain time. My show is every day at 11 a.m. But I know a lot of my followers come home in the afternoon and they can't catch the first show. So I rerun it then. Everything is a strategy. You have to pick your strategy. And the thing, if Christian was here, the number one thing he says was, check your analytics. <laughs> check some of your past videos. When are they getting watched? When are they getting clicked? Is it two o'clock, three o'clock? Is it in the morning? Are most of your people coming in from the UK? Maybe you don't have a lot of Canadian and US followers, but most of your followers are from the UK. So what you think, well, maybe I should change my time because of the time difference. Where is your analytics coming from? How many views did you get on the last topic? Was this topic better than this topic? Check your analytics out. And I think the other thing that adds to that, um, we talked about, I, I mentioned, you know, I'm normally here to talk about the audio and the video stuff. And I, I'm hoping some people are going to come into the green room. I want to get a couple of people in the green room rather than just one at a time so we can try and get them through. Um, but do listen back to your show. Get used to what your voice sounds like, what your voice sounds like when it's good, when it doesn't sound so great. Everybody hates their voice. Everybody does. But when you hear it two or three times, you get to sound when it sounds what it should sound like and what it does sound like. And then you immediately know when your voice is sounding bad, when your audio levels are low or when there's something right. Because that drift, people drift away from your show if that's sort of happening. Uh, and it is oh. worth uh, <laughs> being there and hearing what you sound like. So watch um, your shows. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Last week, I interviewed somebody. The interview was fantastic. I mean, like we killed the interview, knocked it out the park. We hit some hard points. I went back to listen to it. And for some reason, I sounded computerized. So through the whole interview, she's sounding great coming in, and I'm sounding computerized. I didn't do what Leo said. Now and then, check your audio. Go back and do some checks here and there. Make sure. I'm just thinking, hey, I do it every day. Yesterday, it was fine. Something happened. I didn't reboot. So because I didn't reboot the system, it came in computerized. So that whole interview, I have to go send it out to somebody, <laughs> pay yep. for it, and try to make them see if they can <laughs> make me sound normal. It's, yeah, it, it it's it's super tough when that happens, and it's happened to every single person out there. And this isn't new. This isn't <laughs> something that has just uh, happened in this industry, and it didn't happen in others. It's happened all the time. But it, it, it is key. You know, a lot of people will have a checklist. They check to see that. It's very, it's, it's virtually never the camera because you know what you look like. You can see it instantly. But you the, the voice, you never, because you don't hear it. And you hear it back and you suddenly realize, I did a great show with somebody, uh, a really good friend. I thought I knocked it out of the park. It turned out just before the show, I had not to, I'd done something, I'm not the wrong microphone, and I was broadcasting from a microphone that was sort of over there. They didn't tell me because they thought, well, it's, it's still working. Yeah, yeah. But I was on the wrong microphone. <laughs> My guest didn't say anything either. Like, I'm talking and it's coming, you know, okay, hold on. Let me see. This, this is what it was sounding like. It was not proper. So I'm doing an interview and I'm not hearing it. But she's hearing it, and she just went straight through the whole interview. And I'm thinking, okay, we're having a good conversation. And when I, I got back and replayed it, because I was excited about the interview, and I went to go get clips, and I was like, oh my god! There wow. you go. So uh, that 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 it's easy done. It's easy done. And as you say, with uh, uh, uh with with stream decks and with other things and with uh yep. roadcasters on your desk it's easy to press a button and not realize because you obviously don't hear it yourself no uh, adam's come up with a comment on there very quickly make sure you double check your settings in stream yard it's more than just stream yard if you're doing something super important i always recommend a reboot i did a reboot about an hour and a half before this show today um i just it's sometimes you just need to do it and that's coming from a mac user it's not just a pc thing it's a mac <laughs> user as well shut down the stuff that you don't need sometimes it just does make a big difference so it's what it, i'm doing 100% so anyway, i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to give you a big round of applause on that as well because i went to do a show i hit the button 
none of my sound effects were working. Nothing yeah. was working. Why? Again, like Leo said, I didn't reboot the system. So um, I, I, nothing. I did a test before this show. I, uh, I, I went to go and change to put my StreamYard T-shirt on. And while I was next door, I said, hi, Charles, can you still hear me? He goes, yes. I went, I'm on the wrong mic. So I was on these mics, not this one. <laughs> you shouldn't have been able to hear me. But it's anyway, it's the way you test it. We've got a lot of questions coming in. But before we go to the questions, I just want to make sure, you know, uh, we'd like a few people to join us just to do some rapid bits, um, you know, so we've got some questions live. If you do want to join us, there's the link, you know, come on. These people are putting in the questions in the comments, please come on. Just even, it doesn't matter. We're here to just try there. So I'm going to jump to the questions. I've starred them this time so we can actually um, bring them up. What's <laughs> the first that, question, Charles? I, I've seen that Leo. I've seen that you're doing a great job starting them up. <laughs> oh, okay. What's the here first we, go. one we got here. Let me see this one. Uh, how do we do a phone in? So it looks like they want to do a phone call. Yeah. So there's, there's lots of different ways of doing this. And, and, and I would say the key with this product is that you've got people dialing in, coming into StreamYard. So you can use StreamYard on a mobile phone. It works on an iPhone and an Android. No problem. It works on both of those. Absolutely fine. There are some limitations particularly the limitation is you can't manage and administer from there. You can, but it's just really hard. It's uh, you need to be running on it's really difficult. running on a PC. But um, you can get people to dial in. You can put the link up. You can put the link in there. Um, I there have a, a lot of people are asking about how do you stop trolling when you send out links? That is quite, if you're going to send out links to call-ins, like I've done with the stream, that one there, what I actually did is, that was really easy. You see the link across the bottom, which is saying um, it's a bit.ly link. So I actually took the link that StreamYard gave me and I converted it to a bit.ly link, which means that I can change it and I can change and drop it if I need to at another time uh, or repeat it. So it makes life easier for you. It means you can write your banner to say join and you can just put it in once and you, you know, you, you keep repeating the link. So that's, that's quite useful. Um, but what you can do to stop the trolling when you get on there, uh, is there's an option and it is on this is you have to, you tick it in the settings and you go to settings and guess, and you say that guests must authenticate. And that means they have to have a uh, YouTube or a Facebook registered client, uh, registered address to actually join. So that can help you out a lot on there. Okay, next one. Uh, someone was asking me, I like the change of the voice. How can I do that? Okay, so there's two options that you can do that. I'm just gonna pull up my secondary camera. Okay, so how I did that one part is I use my Go XLR. So in my Go XLR, I can put in different voiceovers that I pre-made. And here's something that Leo says all the time, and I'm going to repeat it because when he when I first met him and he said it, I said, you know, that's key for me too. Test, test, test. Test your sound. Test your different sound effects. So I went in and I made a whole bunch of different sound effects. But what I did is making sound effects is one the levels of the sound effects. It makes no sense me push a button and you can't hear the sound effects properly. Or if the sound effects is too overpowering over your mic, it didn't blend in properly. So the sound effects come from my Go XLR. And so I just push a button. And then I can sound like that. Or if I really want to have, you know, that deep, deep voice, I can add that one right there as well. That, I don't think we can tell the difference there on that one, Charles. <laughs> so that's option one. Option two is if you have a Stream Deck. Stream Deck now offers voice changing. So if you get a Stream Deck like this one, you can actually go into the system and they have voice changers and you just push a button on your Stream Deck and you can change your voice in there as well. So there's different options. But the thing is, what I love about StreamYard, and I keep saying it, StreamYard is, is easy to combine different sound effects, different things into your system. That's the beauty about StreamYard. It allows you to bring all these different tools in to make your show look and sound even better. Yeah, and, and the, that's one of the things to say that's really important. 
StreamYard is not a tool that's going to do everything. It's not designed to do everything, and it shouldn't be. There are certain things that actually work better from the front end. So, for example, uh, Charles is using uh, which which audio equipment do you use again, Charles? I I'm using the Go XLR. Okay, so I have the Flow 8, and I can do certain other things on that. That's another mixer, does various different things. I can put in uh, effects onto my Flow 8. I'm not going to do it now because if I do it, I'll get it wrong. Actually, I'm going to try. <laughs> But it's, um, I'm going to try and see if I can get it in the flat. Right. There, there you go. go. Something, Something comes, comes in weird. weird. Anyway, anyway, so I'm, I'm going to turn, turn it off. So that there is ways and means of doing it. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Yep. Uh, uh, so there are different changes and different effects that you can do on there. Um, the Stream Deck works really well now with it. There's some abilities to use it for different things. But you, you want to just combine things you don't want to just say oh this is it it's the only it's the only game in town it's the only thing i need um i'm just gonna i'm conscious of time and we've talked quite a lot there's quite a lot of other uh conversations and other questions here um there's one that i really liked here from uh dana otley uh can two people we do mixing at the same time example one person shares comments and the other shares videos you're seeing that in action. We're doing We're that both right here. <laughs> so if we both put our hands up like this, nothing's going to change on the screen. As soon as we put our hands down, you know, I can take your comment off and Charles can put it on again. That's exactly, yep. exactly what you want to do. Uh, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, the old way, and some people still use it, is they share logins. That You don't need to do that now. You've got a Teams feature, uh, so you can invite somebody else to be in there to be able to do certain different things on there if you need more than there you obviously can go up to more expensive licenses but if you just want that feature and you know who the person is you can give them your login so there is ways and means around that so thank you for that question that's really useful and again practice 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 if you're working with somebody new practice do what well, thing about with Streamyard, you can actually go into Streamyard and do just record only so it doesn't go out live so record yourself for 10 minutes and listen to yourself back. Does does Leo sound better than I do? Do I do I look different than Leo? Does does the sound coming in? Does the pictures coming in? We got to set all that up. So do a pre-recording before you go live and say, "Hey guys, look, I didn't push the button on time. Where's the button? Something together. We can work out together." So that's that brings us on to a really good one here. Um, uh joe go, let's go so with joanne joanne's asked her uh, had a show recently with myself and two guests and the slide and a slide deck bringing the comments on cover the face at the bottom how to correct that yes there is an option in here so that you can have a look in your settings and i'm just going to change it now so uh where you have the guests uh i've got to remember where the question where it is um shift videos up for comments and browsers so i'm going to turn that off and i'm going to go into a different screen setting uh, i've got to get the right one here help me out where have i got to put it in the banners will um come up you've got to test this test this out um so i'm just trying to see if this is going to come up it's not going to come up i've got the wrong settings but there is a way to show you can actually move the screen up and down i think we actually need to have a third camera on so Hold if on. i just do it there, there and then i put on um the ticker i put the ticker on there and then i go back into the settings and i shift the videos up i am not it's not showing it it normally does oh no once it normally does is it me or is it you have i gotta we gotta turn this on it's always nice. great when you do these things live Done. like that there we go yeah did you see this it went up it went up and then if i go into the settings and turn it off you'll see if you put that Put that comment back on again. And if I just turn the there, so there you, you see it's now I'm turning the setting on and off. So you want to experiment, experiment oh. with the people um, uh, so that you can see how the things look um, and try it out. As, as Charles has said, there's loads of times you, it's best thing always to do is to go live with a show, try it out, see what you look like, see how things work uh, and go from there. So uh, how does how does your how does your colors look? How does your mic look? Are you doing a frame side? You know, are you doing are you doing a picture in picture? So, for example, yeah. 
we can, you know, while you're, when you're talking to your guest, full screen. So now Leo is my main focus. And then if I want to give him solo, there it is. There's a lot of buttons. Sometimes, you know, you're choking <laughs> and you, okay, let me, let me do it this way. There's been times where I have to sneeze. I don't know if anybody else had to sneeze on, on camera or you're coughing and you're going to be choking yourself. There's a way if you don't have a mute button, you know, to take yourself off camera instead of just clicking. Hear nothing I'm saying. Self away and you can't hear me. So instead of taking yourself away, you, there's a button here where you just hit solo. So now Leo yeah. is solo. I'm sneezed. I've coughed. And if he says something to me, I'm still here. He can still hear my voice, but you can't see me. So there's different tricks you can use to still have a nice stream without just disappearing. Yeah, absolutely. And and the more you're used to using these things, and you have to remember this is when you watch TV on live TV, lots of things happen that go wrong, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. they've worked out ways to hide most of the things which go wrong yeah and they also and you see it one of the things i always if you ever notice when um tv goes to an interview with or they go to a live um person who's out in the field uh the live person never says how what help i can't hear you all of that they just pause for 10 seconds till they yep. hear the cash question and then they answer the question and they just allow you're used to seeing it on tv but people aren't used to doing it in live shows. They expect to answer that, instantly or I can't hear you. I can't hear you. They know you can't hear them. They know they're <laughs> muted. They will unmute themselves. Just don't draw attention to it. Let it happen. And, uh, and it will, and it will happen. It will happen. It's just let, that that's let, the difference. I like that Leo. Let things go naturally without saying, Leo, you're Mike, Mike, Leo. I, I can't hear you. Leo, are you there? Like, it doesn't yeah, exactly. It doesn't look good on camera. It doesn't sound good on camera. You know, let it flow. There's things you can do. Let it flow. And on that point, I think there's a couple of others I just wanted to. Um, uh, so we've covered the, the thank you for that one, Joanne. So that's there. Um, this one. Um, and I'm doing an arm here. Sorry, Adam. Don't worry. It's natural conversation. I think. Yeah when you know what your word is that you use you'll notice it you'll you'll get your you'll get used to it slow down take a breath it will work uh, it will actually work so uh we actually have somebody live to come in now i'm okay. going to bring in a yeah gaz am i get is that how i oh he just disappeared off the screen as we brought him in <laughs> don't ever disappear oh, is he coming back he's not coming back we'll bring him back when he comes back in he was literally two seconds it oh wait, there you go this is live shows this is how it happens oh he's back, he's back. <laughs> sorry here. about that you walked you walked away the second we walked away there you go don't what's it don't do it don't charles don't don't work don't work with kids animals and canadians <laughs> okay so we're we're hearing an echo from you my friend you have another yeah let me fix that there you go there you uh, go right okay <laughs> you had a question for us uh, i think you may have to yeah, drop us out of your other connection uh, you've got what it is what you're hearing you're watching us on youtube or on facebook you need to either mute that mute that one or close that that window yeah i think we got it there we go check great check, check. great yeah. okay far better. away with your question far away with your question first of all who are you and far away with your question so first of all as you can tell uh newbie and uh that's why we had uh, some other pages still open uh that's my name right. is Jurgs, and i'm a day trader okay uh, okay i started that when i was getting ready to retire from a federal job and i realized my retirement packages weren't exactly where i would have liked them to be so uh I began doing something that we actually shouldn't do in day trading, and that was revenge trading to kind of build that back up quickly. Uh, it's pretty successful, but in my process of trying to uh, self-educate, I uh, didn't find a lot of other YouTubers or other educators that were speaking on a level to a newbie like me. And so uh, yep. I, I just 
started, you know, the YouTube channel with uh, that intent to help bring people on that want to get into it, um, but really can't follow the other experts that are out there that lose them in like 10 seconds. Uh, my okay. question was, I like to have different views of the studio, the bar room in my house. And uh, I have trouble. I, I heard Leo say that he's also a Mac user. Uh, yeah. I have trouble. I have two um, Sony ZV-1 cameras with USB connections right to the computers. And um, the Mac software doesn't seem to recognize a second camera of the same make and model. Is there any workaround that you know that we can do that, use that besides using the built-in camera that's on the Mac? Uh, so I'd, there's a couple of things I'll say on to that one. Uh, first of all, uh, USB is a limited bandwidth on the bandwidth on the USB. So the more cameras you plug in, the slower the computer goes. And mine is running at a great rate of knocks. The easiest way to get two cameras to work on something like that, if you do you want them on the screen at the same time or you Correct. want to swap between them? Uh, either or, actually. Okay, well, the way I do it, I have a uh, an ATEM. You'll see this out there. It's the ATEM Mini. It's a very popular product. Um, and the ATEM Mini enables you to plug in a number of cameras via HDMI, and the HDMI then goes into the PC as one USB connection. Um, you can also get, there are other alternatives. There are very small little HDMI to USB um, converters. Uh, mixed experience with them sometimes that there are they're around about the 15 dollar mark you can get mixed experience i've been i've had some that have worked and i've had some that have failed uh depending on what your product is and what you're trying to do you can you or how you're going to work you can work with that this is the a10 mini pro this is exactly what i've got in front of me here and that that enables you to do it if it's something you're doing a lot with getting an a10 mini pro um is worth it because what you're able to then do uh, I haven't got mine set up for it at the moment, but normally I do, is you can telestrate over. In other words, you can actually use the second input as a um, as a as from an iPad and you can write on the iPad and it will pit it'll be writing on the screens. Right. And that's incredibly powerful to do. Um, and the ATEM Mini Pro solves all of the problems that you will have on that. Okay. That's that's the way of doing it. Uh Jurgs. How do you how do I pronounce your name? Jurgs. 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 The other thing I would do for you a little bit, get closer to your mic. Eat it. Eat your okay. mic. Talk now to us. Check one, two. Yeah, you're better? coming in much better. Yeah. All right. Thank people, you. People, you know, people are scared about the mic. They want it out of shot. That mic is not really, it's designed to be in the right shot. here. You may be you may want to do what I'm doing. I've got a, my mic is mounted. Uh, if you look at the, you know, if you look at how I do it, the mic is actually coming. The mic arm is coming up rather than the way you've got it, which is right. coming down. Right, right. Uh, it's just, it's just a personal preference. I like it. It doesn't get in my keyboard the way of my keyboard. Um, and that's, that's the way of doing it. Very cool. Great. Yergs, it's really nice to meet you. Likewise. Uh, and uh, thank fan. you Thanks, for bud. bringing your questions to us uh, you. and, nice. and appearing when you appeared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, there was an echo from the TV in the kitchen that uh, I also had the streaming from. So I didn't want to. Uh, I, I think I think the the best bit is uh, I, Adam's comment is which you know that's live streaming, folks. That's exactly yeah, right. it. We are live. Nobody could say we're not live. So here's that's everything gonna, before you go on the air. Here's Absolutely. one thing I'm going to show you, my friend, if you don't mind me using you for uh, an example. Go ahead. Okay, so your cord. Where's that cord going down to? Uh, just below the desk and then up the back into the uh, back of the iMac. Okay. So simple things that, that can change your life. Oh, so yep. this was wired to the frame before. Okay. I just had my iMac worked on at the Apple store. And gotcha. uh, that, that's the reason why I'm actually in the process of ordering the Mac studio. Um, but yeah, so everything's kind of slightly being put back together right now. Okay. Okay. And then, what this little... would be better wired to the to the boom. Okay, there you go. What boom arm are you using? It is the uh you know what I got the uh frameworks. Okay, okay. There so we like, go. So like Leo's saying, 
if you can just get that lower into you, then it's better. Because right now, if I look at it, if I take a snap, yes. If I take a snapshot, it's right here at your level. Right. Down here at your level. Okay. Now your 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 levels just came in way different. The in the from what I read about these after, of course, I bought four of them. Uh, was that they're actually not only for this close, but for you know direct on, not yep. really from yep. the side. So yes, um, yeah, correct. For as good they're, as they they're, sound, they're kind of sort of still not the right ones. So th this microphone here, uh, the Heil PR40, is a you 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 talk over it, sort of like that okay. over it. So that's why it's, it's that's why it's here. I've got a black one. It's a bit hard to see a black on there, but you can see the, that's how it's presented. And it does, you know, microphones are not cheap. Right. And you you want to get the right one that works for you and it sounds right. Um, and there, Charles, are you, you're on shore, aren't you? You're on no. shore or not? So I'm on a pod mic. Okay. So I'm on the pod mic. And the pod mic, same thing, only works here in the front. So if I say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, oh, well. R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z, the main sound comes from right here. Right. So yeah. when you're getting your microphones, you really have to know which microphone it looks good for you and sounds good for you. And because yeah. my, my boom arm is like Leo's, I can change it around. I know I have to be eating the mic and talk directly for my sound right here. And what do the you other guys thing think that, about, yeah, sorry, come. I'm sorry. What do you guys think about this look? You know, the, what I call the radio station look with a mic here in your face in the screenshot yep. versus a mic with a better gain. I know, I know, I know what you're, you're thinking to be, We've, you've you've muted yourself out, yeah. You must yeah. have hit a button on your mic. You've hit a button on the mic somewhere when you were moving it, or something. Something's muted it out. There we and go. Well, yeah. There you go. Of course, I grabbed the mic at uh, that one right spot. That's all right. That's you did. You did. <laughs> I, I, my my view is this: we are people of when we started streaming, and this was like when three years ago, people weren't used to this view. They weren't used to seeing a mic in here. They were mm -hmm. unfamiliar with it. People have got familiar with the mic view yeah. and they are. And actually, if anything, I would say it adds credibility to what you do because you look like a pro. That took my if point. If you look and sound like a pro, <laughs> and if you sound like a pro, it makes a big difference. The number of shows I see where people have got the mic over here and you can't hear them because they don't want the mic in the shot. You know, right. you just got to find the right mic and the right arm that you feel comfortable with and, and live with it. And, and I mean, I, uh, the biggest thing is people don't go, I say, you know, in all the shows we go, we, we need people to have ha headphones and people go, I don't like the headphone look. So, you know, these are my headphones that I'm normally in people go, they don't like the headphone look. Uh, these are, these are in ears. Well, mine are, uh, Charles is showing the in ears. I'm showing, uh, over ears ones. So mine sit in front of my ears and they work on the bone conductor. Uh, but in both cases, that improves the sound a lot. Um, there's lots of other questions about this, uh, and we could spend a day on this, and we don't want to. Um, Michael's talking about using condenser. Condenser microphones are brilliant. They work with that distance. They work, but the downside of a condenser, it picks up the room. What you've got is called a dynamic mic. Your microphone is dynamic. This is a dynamic mic, so it, it needs gain it needs to be pumped up radio microphones are dynamic you know all radio shows basically are on dynamic microphones yeah. but they're sitting in a sound room with everything right. there you probably can hear the i don't know if you heard the i'm i'm underneath the flight path for heathrow airport so occasionally you'll hear a plane go over maybe you heard it maybe you don't there's lots there's yeah. lots of different yeah. we could spend a long day on that one <laughs> get comfortable Get comfortable, yes. Listen to yourself. Listen to your shows back. Hear what you sound like. And make sure that mic, if you're going to use that mic, look at both the positions that Charles and I have got. You may have to switch it around. You may have to even lower right. the head and put it on the other side up of it or something so right that it's, it's, it, it's hearing you because people here's, want to hear you. Here's one thing. I, me looking at you, two things. You're right-handed, correct? 
Yep. So what I learned is when people are mostly right-handed, they turn to turn to their right. Like when you're when you're using your mic, your 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 mouse, your brain uses yeah. your mouse, you turn to the right. Sure. So when you turn to the right to do things, your mouth moves away from the microphone. Sure. So you might want to just switch your mic to the other side. So when you're turning your voice, it. you're always turning in to the mic. That makes sense. Yeah, because right now you're you're doing you're right-handed and you're going left. So this is how you're 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 doing it right now. You're going backwards yeah. against the grain. That makes sense. So, yeah. I think there's also there's an interesting comment here from Adam. I was researching boom condenser mics. I don't like the mic in the picture, maybe next year. I understand it, Adam. And and there isn't an answer to this like it's right for everybody. Yeah. Uh, if you, you have to be the number one, right. Is you've got to be comfortable on the screen. If you're not comfortable on the screen, the rest of it's just second secondary, you yeah. know, you've got to feel comfortable. And that's really where we're coming on this on here is, are you comfortable? Are you happy with it? They all adjust around. Um, but for me, I'm comfortable with the mic where it is. It is taking up a little bit of real estate. You can see it here, but I, I, I think, once people hear it, the difference, I mean, I've done the test before you've, you've seen me do this test on here. I'll do it again quickly. But if I just show you the difference, I'm going to come off my flow eight and I'm going to go to the standard mic that's on my, um, MacBook pro. So my MacBook pro, you'll hear my standard mic off my MacBook pro and you're going to hear my <laughs> Put those ones on. <laughs> so that's the microphone on there. I'll go back to my, so uh, hopefully you heard the difference of why a microphone makes a difference. 100%. 100%. Very much so. <laughs> so uh, for me, a uh, question. Do you have headphones on, my friend? I I have some. I don't have them on right now. Okay. So here's, a, here's two things. Once you plug in, and I learned this, once you plug in your headphones, you're going to see a whole difference of your sound again. And I'll tell you why. Because when you can hear yourself coming back in your tone changes so a lot of times you can't hear yourself if you're yelling too loud if you're talking too soft your tone changes so i have it set so i can hear myself as i'm speaking to guests and secondly okay. when you have the headphones on it takes out as 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 leo was saying the echo because instead of the sound going somewhere else the sound's only going into your ear Right. Your voice is going to change again and the sound's going to change again. The other thing that makes a difference, and uh, I, I've got two screens open, so it's not the best example, but once you've got headphones on and you're doing what, you, we, what Charles is explaining, your computer's doing less work. And I know that sounds an obvious thing, but streaming, every single CPU cycle you can save on streaming just makes your stream a little bit better. And yeah, by I'm having okay. having having the... One the thing turned off. Hold on. Gone. I'm, no, he's gonna do it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it as well. So I'm gonna turn off my headphones and put back on my speaker. Hold on. Right. There we go. Can you? And now you're gonna hear. You can. Yeah, hear we can also. hear it. Let me turn it. I down. can hear it. I can hear it. Can you guys hear the difference in my sound now? Absolutely. Yeah, we're hearing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the sound because. It's hearing yeah. the speaker back into my mic as I'm talking to you compared to the sound going through. Now, I'm going to turn that back off and just go through my headphones. So if I sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, you should hear a different sound the difference. So to explain that technically, uh, without going too technical, <laughs> uh, what, what, what echo cancellation does is echo cancellation, if you've got a big, if you imagine sound is a big, it goes up and down, it's a big wave. And what it does is it is it hears the bit it's already hearing and it cuts that out. So it's cutting out parts of the octaves. It's like if you imagine on a piano and it cuts out for six of the keys because it's heard those keys. So it means that when you're hearing it back, you're, the person is, is actually, some people will call it thinner or they're flatter because it's cutting out the roundness of their sound to stop the echoing that's how it's sort of doing it so you're actually degrading your own sound by bringing in 
uh, by by not using headphones. And people sit there and go, I don't need to use headphones. It's going to make no difference. It's like, it's the thing that makes you sound better is headphones. And people are like, no, it doesn't. It's like, it does. <laughs> go and watch a radio show. That's go and watch a radio show. You'll never, ever see a radio show without them wearing headphones. That's right. my number one rule when I'm interviewing people. You must have headphones. I don't care if you want to use your Mac or your laptop camera. You got to have headphones because when you're talking, all it is is coming out, going back in, coming back out, going back exactly. in. Exactly. And I can hear myself as I ask you a question. I'm hearing myself ask you a yeah. question. It throws me off. Yeah. So, so what I've noticed in the past, and then again yeah. today, is I don't hear myself right now, other no. than the fact that I'm speaking loud enough and it's echoing through okay. the room. I don't hear myself on the headphones. Is that a yep. StreamYard thing that I can change, or is that on the computer, no. or where is that? So, so that that that's called side tone. The what you're actually wanting to hear is yourself. Now, there's two ways around it. One way that I have around doing side tone is because these are not in ears. My ears are still working, so I'm actually right. hearing myself. Correct. Uh, maybe 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 it's just the voices in my head I keep hearing. Maybe that's <laughs> what I'm hearing. So that that could be the problem anyway. Uh, but that's one way around it. But with with certain um, uh, sound mixers, so MyFlow 8 has an ability to do side tone, uh, some of the others. So what that does is it feeds a little bit of the sound of the microphone into your ear. And there's a lot that have that uh, feature called side tone. It's not something you're going to get out of uh, StreamYard because if you did, then you would have um, – a lot of echoes and it, it it really is something that you should do the other problem is is that your once the sound leaves your sound device your mixer and hits the computer there's a natural delay that delay is around typically for it to come in it's it's only microseconds but it really throws you off you know when you hear yourself back on an echo and it's even even a half a second you you can't compute because it just doesn't work right. so you need that's why it's better to do it in the mixer because the mixer's live that's live audio so that's the way of doing it and then so i'm just going to show you real quick on my go xlr the thing that leo's talking about here's my level right here yeah. so it's at 70 percent. so i'm hearing everything through back through my headphones and i have it set at 70 percent right here so that's one way how i bring it in for myself yeah, and you, I think actually somebody's asked the question, and I think that on your mic, yeah, there is actually a headphone socket on the back, if I Correct. remember. Correct. Yeah. There is. So that that is a way of hearing. You can hear it out that way. There may be a way of doing that so you can bring it around so you can actually do it that way. Actually, I can't there, remember. And, there, yeah. and I think there's a mix on it. So you, Yes. There's a mix, and the mix does how much is coming from the computer and how much is coming from my headphones. So if you, that actually does do it. That's That does what you want, I think. Yeah. You may try if it. You, if you actually plug it into your microphone exactly, you it, will actually, yeah. it will actually you will hear yourself and us at the same time. So I've heard myself yeah. with that, but I've never heard the rest of the production. So I'll have to... You can. You then have to change your mic, your output. And, and before I say, aren't I clever, I just want to <laughs> say that that was a... Uh, um uh walter thank you thank you it was walter walter's comments uh and he he brought it up so uh well done walter thank you there you go oh, hold on here walter <laughs> <laughs> there you go there you go <laughs> yeah so if you're now in there you need to go into your on stream yard yeah can you still hear us i think i might have done it yeah, can you hear us still? Can you still hear us? Hopefully, you can this is this is what we are, I end up doing on a lot of shows. Can you hear us still? I don't know if you can. It's you know this you is know, good for everybody else. Uh, what I'm going to ask him to do when he can hear us is I'm going to ask him to go to the settings cogwheel at the bottom of Streamyard, click on that audio, and change the speaker. So hopefully, he's going to be able to hear that. I I, you know, I, I did. If you were talking to me, I did. Uh, I you switched did it to this, and okay, so you, you were go very the faint. Speaker. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We will be, we will be, and you have to just turn it up. You'll have to turn it up in there somewhere. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, yeah. I think this is part of the admin stuff that I got to get re caught up on. That's the admin stuff. This is yeah, all we do. Off, everything off screen, been deleted. So there you go. Uh, okay, yep. there you go. 
Shure has a pretty decent app that is its own mixer for the mics. Yes. And okay. you, you bring it up on your desktop and can make those alterations. Yeah, that's, that's yes. right. One that's app I need to right. add to the list to reinstall because it's not there anymore. Yeah. And here's another thing. Now, people might say, well, he's got all these cords hanging off. He's got all this other stuff. You can actually put in the um, wireless. Bluetooth. Yeah. yeah. So if you really want to make it look cleaner and stuff, there's so many things you can do. And because remember, like Leo said, you're, you're only listening it for yourself. Yeah. I would, I would love to send it. you guys the schematic drawing that I did of what my whole system looks like. There, there's the live streaming that I do through StreamYard and through the iMac 27. Uh, and then there's the actual recording. If I want to do something for to edit things and put things in and out and whatever and upload later, yeah, my actual desktop of my desk is covered in cords. It, it, it looks like the closet of the studio, not the studio. I just want to touch on a couple of bits here. Uh, Rick um, uh, has mentioned, you know, do wireless headsets work well? Wireless headsets aren't bad if you're used to them. So I have a wireless headset. This is wireless. Uh, a lot of people have issues with them, but uh, I wouldn't use wireless microphones. Uh, so I am definitely getting a, I am getting an echo back from somewhere. I think it's coming from, is it, it's not from me. Is it Jurgs? You've got it. It's on the bottom there. Is it, is it me? It's Jurgs. Hold on. You need to turn it down slightly. It's coming out of your head. Take your headphones off, Jurgs. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry. I, I put myself on mute yeah. on for a second ago. It's not you, it's him. Because he put himself higher up to hear yeah. us, there's yeah, the echo coming it. back through now. So the, I'm glad he actually did that and we heard the echo because now those are little things that you have to test as you're a streamer. There's little How's things that? you realize yeah. if I go too much yeah. on the gain part, it's coming into me as an echo. So like, there's a lot of things that you have to practice. And here's the number one thing. When I got this mic... I did the research and I did the research on does it need, um, how much gain does it use? Will my Go XLR be able to handle it? Where do I have to position it? Before you go out and buy a mic, do the research yeah. until you can't do any research anymore. And there's some places you can go and actually test it. You know what I mean? Like there's a place here where they have all the microphones set up and I can go and test yeah. it and don't like the sound. Test it, don't like the look. Before you get the microphone, look at reviews, look at sound, look what you need, how it sets yep. up. Like yep. this microphone alone, the weight of this microphone, when I had it on my last arm, it was too heavy. So I'm constantly pulling it up because the weight. So I had to research on what arm could hold the weight of this microphone if I wanted it yep. in this position. So there's so many things you need to do before you just go get your products. Make sure they're compatible for what you need. So yeah, something I, I noticed. Absolutely. Yeah, you were sorry. just talking about the echo that I created when I you know, unplugged the headphones. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear that. Is it because I'm the cause of it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because you, you're hearing it nice and clear. But remember, it sends the feedback out. And that's what Leo was talking about with people with laptops that say, oh, no, I don't need, a, I don't need headphones. You don't need it because you don't hear it. Right. <laughs> You're in the room with the echo and you don't hear the echo coming back in, but everybody else that's streaming, everybody else that's listening is hearing this wicked echo. <laughs> I'll say there's a couple of other comments. I just really want to catch, to catch on before we, we, we're there. And uh, just to clarify something, uh, wireless is not Bluetooth. Absolutely. Sorry. And that's my mistake to explain it. Uh, when typically when I have a discussion with people, we're talk when they're talking about going wireless or they're talking about, or, they're talking about Bluetooth. It's it's not normal in most of the conversations I have. They talk about headphones rather than they're talking about, or they're, the worst thing of the example of that is something like the Apple EarPods. Uh, the Apple EarPod microphone is, unfortunately, it's just a streamer's nightmare. Uh, everybody sees them. They see them on TV. They see them on TV and they see people using the TV and they assume they're being used. They're never using the microphone. Uh, you know, so th I absolutely agree professional microphones that are wireless you know the, that are using uhs uhf or vhf are great i use them a lot but not that's not normally where we're going in some of these discussions um 
and I and as and going back to what we talked about on all of this, it's just testing. It's trying it, seeing how it goes, working out what works out for you. Um, but you, but one of the things I always want to keep clear of is this whole side. What goes into Streamyard is isn't actually Streamyard. It's that's, but it makes a huge difference. It's sort of like you put dog food into it. It's going to taste like dog food on the right way out. <laughs> but if you can put in a decent microphone, it sounds great. But you have to just buying the one that's the most expensive isn't necessarily the best thing. Um, you know, you've got to have as 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 Charles start what you've got at the moment. You, the way you've connected your microphone is with USB connection. Correct. Uh, that microphone can then go up onto XLR. I'm connected XLR. Charles is connected XLR. That means we have a um, a uh, a sound um, uh, interface, the sound interface or a mixer. Um, the ones everybody goes, oh well, let's get the focus right. The focus right will not drive a lot of these microphones. The really good ones. That's the one everybody sees. It's not bad, but it doesn't drive the heavyweight microphones that we're both using. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. So with your connection, was, if you run, you, you have the XLR, which I can also yes. do on this. Yeah. Uh, and you run that to a soundboard before going into the computer. Yeah. Correct. Can you take my audio that's coming in through StreamYard as a separate channel into the board and then send it back yeah. to the computer for broadcasting? Yes, I can. There is ways of doing that. On, the, on a Mac, you will then need to have something called Loopback. It's okay. a piece of software. Loopback enables you to open the whole of the sound setup of a Mac and enable you to uh, connect the uh, audio. On a PC, it's called Virtual Cable. It does exactly the same or very similar uh, thing, so you can connect things up. There's lots of different ways to do it. Awesome. I'll look up Loopback now. Uh, yep, yeah, it's a great product. Uh, it also allows you to record. It has it has a, uh, a suite of products that allows you to record the audio so you can uh, uh, carry out audio recordings of different channels. And it has an audio, uh, like Charles was showing earlier, it has a soundboard that you can play uh, various different things. There's loads of different ways of doing things. Very nice. It never ends. I'm yeah. looking for one of the very wide uh, concave monitors to add with the um this the uh, studio the mac studio when that comes yep. in a couple of months that uh multitasking will be a lot better yeah it, it, there's <clears> lots <throat> of the unfortunately unfortunately this game is not a cheap game at times it doesn't have to be expensive but it becomes quite addictive to uh uh keep buying more and more things as you know you, as as things grow i mean one of the things we haven't talked about at all we we should actually i guess charles one of these days talk about this a bit is lighting we never we i don't think we've covered this much on this show it's covered on some of the other streaming shows but you know if you're going to do things you know lighting is key um you know you can see i've got incredibly that is that's the real world behind me um and if i turn off my lights in front of me uh, I've turned one off. If I turn both off, you'll see I disappear. Uh, so I have to put a quite a bit of light in to uh, uh, accommodate that. It's something that you need to, you know, people see that because you see your face and you see the look, and that's that really, you know, people, people, people like it. But it's another. You'll never. It never ends. Never ends. I bought a three pack. Uh, Great Video Maker is the brand. Um, they come. It's the lights are about you know a good nine by nine square, and they come on like a seven foot tripod. You know, I look like I'm in a real studio. Uh, it might not really be functioning that way, but uh, the the lighting when I have all three of them lit, and when I use the Sony camera, I'm as clear as both of you guys. Uh, I can tell using the built in Mac that it's it's a darker tint yeah. and there's shadows and yeah, uh, things exactly. that aren't really and there. There's there's a there's a huge number of videos on YouTube about lighting, uh, about three point lighting. That's what people typically talk about the three point light. So you've got different, you've got a light here, your hairline, and you're there. I'm actually not doing it at the moment because it's just where I am and how I'm lit. Uh, but there's lots of different things and and, and working out uh, how to do it. But it does help. At the moment, you've got a big shadow cast off from your mic, which means I can't really see you clear also uh there's also 
the other th side of it is framing. So if there is a way of bringing you in, just to bring yourself, you know, just stand a bit further forward. I don't know if you can. You, you'll see that there's a natural size of framing. Um, everybody used to always talk about the thirds. So you would you would frame like this because that that's how TV does it. Mm -hmm. TV does it with a third. You're in the third and there's a nice open space. But most stuff online, people are used to uh, framing in the center. But yeah, again, it's the Mac. It's the Mac camera for today. Yeah. And just even yeah. sliding my my desktop forward and me moving closer. No, it doesn't. That, you've that's got the best a, that it gets. Yeah. On that. All right, my friend. Thank okay. You so much for Great. Thank my you pleasure, for guys. Thank you. All your questions, and today. I hope we've helped out today. Thank you. Very much so. Thanks, guys. See all you right. soon. Yeah, I stop. I stop using a hair light, Leo. It's. Uh, yeah, you don't need to. Uh, and I'm following you fast, Charles. I'm following you fast. Uh, oh, my goodness. So one thing I wanted to um, show real quick, what you said dynamic and what was your mic? Uh, so my mic is a dynamic. Mine is a Heil PR40. All right. Um, so I'm gonna, to I'm put gonna that into this... perspective, my mic is around about the 400 bucks mark. Okay. So I want to bring this up and what you're talking about about the dynamic and the sound levels because i yeah. hear a lot of people they turn up their their gain a lot and then they something called clipping can you explain what clipping is yeah so basically in a mic chain if you if you imagine that you've got something coming in that's too hot at the beginning uh, you're going to hit over the limits and you're to to try and bring your microphone to be louder you turn up the volume but you've got it too loud coming in at the beginning, so you end up do you end up you're you're overdriving everything in there, and what ends up happening is it ends up with it the 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 system can't cope, so it cuts out uh, parts of it, and you sound you know just you, it's like shouting into a microphone, right? Um, and 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 you can't c cope with it. Um, if you ever watch one of the things that I always thought things is, is great. If you ever go to a live concert, um, nobody ever thanks the sound guy, but if something <laughs> goes wrong, they, everybody knows and tells him it's like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But it's like, you, you're, you're either, you're either nobody thanks you or you're everybody's fault. Um, and it is, it is a skill. It is a skill doing that and understanding because you want to get the gain up as high as you can mm -hmm. so that you can hear. But the minute you go too far, you're either going to get feedback or you're going to get clipping. So it's it's all it's all how it works. There you go. And I want to show anyway. you the clipping is when uh, it gets into the red. So right now, if I talk loud or talk louder and go good, I should be fine because I'm not clipping yet. But if I get put more gain on this. Uh, go on then. Hit it uh, up. All right. Let me. So I'm at. 52 let me go more now i want to talk and i'm talking normal but i'm hitting the red and you should hear a slight buzz going on so i know i'm it's, a little too loud there so yeah bring it back down to uh around there that's where i was and if i talk louder i'm not going to go too much in the red i can shout i can go louder and louder and louder and louder and louder now and I, you're now you're now you're yeah it, it, it is it is it is a fine art and it's something that you want to do remember always that when you actually test yourself if you're testing yourself in a cold environment as in you're not actually live broadcasting you normally talk at a certain level the minute you go live everybody goes up by a few db and if you notice uh, how i start i'm all excited my voice is yeah. loud i'm going up and my voice That's is it so that's I mean, exactly what you have to do so you have to bear in mind that you do everybody does it everybody yeah. does it and it's something that you have to get used to all right we got we had a we've had a huge number of questions that we've i think we've covered most of them um yeah. and uh covered things there was one here um just uh, power of purpose. Is it possible to show video clips while you're live streaming? If you're illustrating a point or trying to bring things, absolutely. That's the whole point of StreamYard. You can share. There's a number of different options to share videos. You can share them. You can load them up as videos. If you load up videos, they appear over the whole of the uh, screen. 
Um, if you load them up and you do a sharing, you can bring them up so they're sitting next to you. There are other ways of doing it. So there's lots of different ways of doing it. Also, one of the quick tricks, if a video is transparent, it will appear over you. You'll see that on a couple of the other shows on the, in the StreamYard family. Uh, the opening credits, they bring up stuff and they bring the video up that way. All so right. I so... think you're going to share a video by the looks of it. Charles, there we go. And you can see we can talk. Good morning, it. good morning, and good morning to you. Hey, everybody. Uh, good what? morning, good morning, good that. morning. Look at that beard. That's <laughs> it. So you can add you can add other videos in it. But here's the thing, too. When you add other videos, you got to make sure the sound is working. You got to make sure that yeah. it, it's streaming. A lot of people say when they play their video, it chips in and out, chips in and out, chips in and out. So I always tell everybody, play your video a couple of times first so the computer can recognize it. And then when you go live, play it, then it'll go stream. Don't don't just bring it in one time and play it. If there's any bugs in it, it's not recognized, it's not loaded properly. And that's why you get the the stickiness. There it is right there. Yeah, absolutely. Leo, you can actually put a video directly into StreamYard. The only difference is, we won't be on screen, but the video will play nice and clean. Yeah, there's 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 lots of ways of using it. I mean, you know, the, the whole point of this show is we're talking about different ways of using StreamYard. Uh, we're demonstrating some of those things. We're also demonstrating what it looks like. Some of it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work as well as it should do. But that's not, you know, it's there. The tools are there. The more you use it, the better it gets. The smoother it feels. The the greater it looks. And and there's lots of different ways of of doing it. So it's always worth trying it out. Um, I just want to, there's a couple of comments here really quickly uh, that I wanted to cover. Um, uh, I think this is a good comment. You know, uh, Charles doesn't need caffeine. I think we all agree with that. Um, That's what I was know. reading and I started uh, laughing. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, your audio is never as loud as something produced. That's absolutely true. You've got to be aware of that. Um, light. So I'll explain really quickly. When you have something that's recorded, uh, I'll go back to that. When you have something that's recorded, uh, you uh, um, you invariably it's recorded and it has uh, it's set to the maximum that audio can go to. So it's trying to fill up the whole of the audio channel. Uh, you can't do that on live because if you go live with something like that, you're going to go over. So when somebody actually has a recorded clip, they typically re uh, will rebalance the sound, re normalize the sound so that it's at the maximum. And so that when you press go, it's always sounds louder. Uh, an argument with that, that's why you sometimes feel like adverts sound louder because adverts, they try and fill the whole of the thing up. So it, arguably sometimes our adverts aren't actually louder they just are filling the whole of the allowed amount. So uh, that that's a that's an important point. Michael says sound test before going live. Yeah, I can't. We we've commented it before. I listened to what you did yesterday because sometimes you think it sounded great uh, and sometimes it didn't. Um, I got a quick question for me here. Your camera looks amazing. What camera are you using? Thank you, Griffalo. The camera that I'm using actually is a Panasonic Lumix GH3. Now, if anybody out there knows about cameras, they'll know that camera is pretty old. But I've got the uh, native lens on the 1.14, and that is why it looks good. The downside is I can't physically, I can't uh, move the camera. I can't um, zoom in and out because I'm on the 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 lens so i have to move the uh tripod to get as close as i can that's that's the downside of it but it is it's super it's a super nice lens but it i have to knock it down because of the light is so light here i think we're out of questions charles all right i think we got everybody's questions answered and a lot of people are commenting and helping each other out and that's what i love about our StreamYard family, you know, I mean, some of the questions we yeah. didn't get to, you guys are answering them. So thank you. And so there's much. better answers than I've given and there's better <laughs> description. Thank you for those people that have answered. It is, it is, it is hard work. We're doing, we're, we're, we're pressing the buttons and got to remember and smiling. You've got to remember to smile as well. That's the, that's the bit you forget when you're on the show. All right. So let me just take this off. Now do remember Sundays, 
That's right. Sundays is a town hall meetings. You know, you get to come in and listen to what's happening, what's new, what's going to be going on for StreamYard, all the new gadgets that they've been pulling in. You know what I mean? Like the latest one that I can remember right now is that now you can upload your own music, right? So if you're uploading your own music, it's great. But just remember, copyright free music. You don't want to get a strike on your on your live. So if you're going to do that, I know a lot of people are always asking you, you want to put your own music in there? Be careful when you do that. Put in music that you know that you've bought copyright free music so you don't get strikes on your video because nobody wants strikes on your video. You know, you're, 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 you're doing a great thing. You're getting momentum and then you get a strike. You don't want that. So be careful. But there's a lot of new features, new functions. Play around with them. Go in and test them. We've been doing a lot of testing, showing each person how what we can do different things. Go in, test, test, test. It's all about having fun, everybody. Yeah, and there's other shows as we talked about before. Uh, there's uh, there's also the uh, YouTube uh, check, so you can get the YouTube review that comes out every second Saturday. Uh, there's other shows that the uh, guys from StreamYard directly do, as well as that they do highlights of other people, and and there's lots there. Don't forget to join uh, the if you're not in there, join the Facebook group. Uh, there's a Facebook group for the dedicated people who are using StreamYard. Uh, many, many people who are answering questions better than we are are in that group and they're helping everybody out. So it's worth joining that group. All right. So Zan, thank you so much. He goes, you just want to stop by real quick. Thanks for joining us. Thanks everybody for joining us again. We'll be back. We're at the last out of every month. So, you know, if you build all your questions up, get a notepad, write everything down. So next time you come back on, if you have any questions, throw it at us. And here's what you, we always forget to do is like and subscribe. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. Let uh, YouTube know that you want this show to continue and you like the show. So everybody right now, go ahead, I'll wait. Did they do it, Leo? Did they? Yeah, they're doing it, they're doing it. We're getting they... them coming in. We're getting they... them coming in. Did they subscribe? Yeah. Are they hitting the like there's, button? Well, I can't tell if they're subscribing, but hopefully there are uh, there 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 there's likes coming in. So that's uh, that's exactly what we want to see. There you go. Thanks, everybody. All right, Leo. We'll see you next time, everyone. Have a great day. See you everyone. next time.